Good very early morning YouTube and welcome back. So as everybody may have witnessed there are certain mods that just they work really well but there's little things about them that you might not like. Well today's mod adjustment is going to be from a beta mod called Keyboard Steer. Now, I love this mod. Don't get me wrong. I really like it. Um, the only problem is the look backwards part. Um, and I'll show you what I mean real quick. Let's create a new game. start it up. Okay. So, this tractor here. So, you're driving along and you need to back up to that implement. Now, you could easily move your mouse around here. Okay, right? But, this mod makes it so that when you put it in reverse, it automatically looks back for you. Not a bad thing, right? But, if I'm over here, and I go forward well that didn't do anything but if I go backward and I'm over here it switches over here okay sometimes there's a building over here so you know I don't I don't really care much for that um, but it's fine I mean I understand I mean I can easily just hit the shift R and turn it off and it doesn't do it anymore Right, and then I can turn it back on right here. Okay, so that's no big deal. But if it's off on this tractor, it is not off for this tractor. So if he could make it global, that would be great. Then, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about doing this anymore. Um, but I don't like that if I have it off on one tractor it's not off on all of them okay so I'm gonna show an easy fix um, this for this um, on is on by default and I don't really care for that so let's go ahead and get this kinda going and again I like this mod I've used it since it came out um, I'm gonna save the game here and I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna quit FS17 completely. I'm going to navigate to my mod directory. I am going to find FS17 keyboard steer. I'm going to unzip it and extract it. I'm going to go into the folder that's newly created. I'm going to find keyboard steer mowgli config.xml. I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. You can use Text Editor. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to find KMV reverses on. And then it says type bool, value true. I'm just going to change that to false. And I'm going to click save. Now, <clears throat> this is important. If you are using WinRAR, you cannot add it to a, uh, a dot r or dot rar or rar um, and change it to zip because that doesn't fix it. Um, if you add it to archive, you can change it through there. Yeah, if you add it to archive, then you can change it in here to be a zip file which will work but you can't just change the the end of it um, in native windows there is a compressed zip folder so you send to compressed but since I just learnt this here um, okay 7-zip you can just say add to fs17 keyboard steer.zip uh, winrar users add to archive and then just click 
zip and then click OK and that'll create the zip file drag this back over into the mod directory click play <coughs> and this is just a minor change um, if he could um, maybe add like send out two versions for us to choose from that'd be cool um, one minor note if you go into mods you will have an update um, don't do not update it um, it's the same thing it's just we change something outside of here so so let's go to career create a new save game or a new game which why does my save games keep getting I think my save game 2 is corrupt and then make sure that it's inside your choosable mods here if not that means you uh, changed RAR to a zip which you can't do that like I said before then we click start let the game load then click start here now if we're inside of a vehicle you'll notice that if I go in reverse nothing happens that is because now look backwards is off by default and that's all I changed so I really hope this helps people um, it really helped me because I just figured out how to do this today um, I need to figure out what's going on with my saved games but I'll figure that out another time I guess but yeah um, that's how you fix the keyboard steer if you want me to see if I can fix anything else um, let me know I will be sending him a message and hopefully he can put out two versions of it for everybody um, I'm pretty I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one that finds this kind of annoying but as always uh, comment subscribe and leave any questions or concerns I will see you in the next video